Come down through here. Come on, right here. It's down here. Farther, farther. <laughs> They're all so beautiful. Hey farm fam, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that are new, welcome. So it's pretty early in the morning and I'm out here in the barn, you guys. But I'm just gonna go ahead and vlog it out right now. So if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, have a chance to my post notification shout out. Are right, you guys, we're getting pretty close. I'm being done with Vlogmas. So we're just trudging through, you guys. There's a couple more days. So guys, if you guys have been liking all these videos, make sure that you go back and watch all of these videos because doing Vlogmas is really hard work. Putting out a video every single day and having new content. So make sure you guys go ahead and watch all the videos because I've had such fun creating them for you guys. But yeah, anyways, let's just get in today's vlog. Like I said, I'm in the barn and we finally got hay nets, you guys. Hi, Trigger, good morning. You got some shavings on you. You must have been sleeping. So we finally got our hay nets. And these are like giant hay nets. We put about two flakes in them. Hey, I'm not touching it, don't worry. So we put about two flakes in them and we filled this up this morning. As you can see, he's you know, gotten through it a little bit, but we fill it up twice a day if need be. And then Louie obviously has had a little bit of a predicament and created a giant mess. What happened? Did you flip your hay net over? How can you get your hay if you flipped it over? Have you been shaking it to get it back? And that's why we have this big mess. Huh, Louie? What do you have to say for yourself? You cannot face the camera. He's like, no, this is how I've been doing it. Well, let me help you, Louie. Let me help you. You keep the hay net in the stall, Louie. In the stall. Yep, just like that. Good boy. See, it's all better now. Now you don't have to stretch your neck and try to reach this. <laughs> Kitties! Cameos! Lazy and Cash. Yesterday I came out here to let him out um, a little after 8 o'clock. And he was laying down in his stall. But it was raining the night before so we kind of think maybe he didn't get like a really good night's sleep. Because it can get pretty loud in here when it's raining. So he had a little nappy. An early morning nap. Right Cash? Are you doing good with your hay net? I like having the hay net so much better now because obviously it doesn't have to be on the ground. But it's, of course, he's gonna try to eat all the little bits on the ground when his hay net is full. But yeah, I don't really like the hay to be on the ground as much just because, you know, they do urinate and poop on the ground. So I try to, you know, keep it separate, but we didn't have the hay net. But now we finally have the hay nets. They're really heavy duty. I really like these, you guys because they're not like the old ones at the old house. These ones are a little bit bigger, so they're definitely still a slow feeder, but they're super heavy duty, and we can fill a whole bunch of hay in here compared to the old ones. Moving on now, though, before I let them out into the tack room. Ah, oh, you guys, if you didn't see my last vlog of our tack room tour, go watch it. I really explain everything in detail in here, and I'm so excited to be using it. I absolutely love it. Hi, kitty. You gonna go in the cat tower? So I just need to pop them here really quick because I gotta get some treats. My chickens, I've been loving my barn, as you guys know. But I've been loving to feed them these little treats. We'll see if we can call them over. I don't know where they are. They're over there. But all I have to do is take this bag. Hey, chick, 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 come here. Oh, food. We were so dry and then we flooded again with one rain. Come here, babies. Come on. Brewster has to come first, make sure it's all safe. <laughs> snackies. Kitty, these are, these are chicken snackies. Have some. The cats are like, where are my treats? The chickens mainly look for like the mealworms. There's hardly any mealworms in here. Like there is some mealworms, but you get gypped when you buy these bags because they put hardly any mealworms and I feel like the mealworms are their favorite. Oh, okay. What's up with that? All right, eat up. On the topic of treats, I think, 
I need to give the horse treats. So I like to grab these little treats. We have some other ones in here too. Maybe I'll grab one of those. I don't know. Now I can't fit it all, but I will. <laughs> Hello. I got this for you. You want to stretch for some treats? I love to make trigger stretch for treats. Hey, somebody make camera. Ready? So we go to a side stretch. Oh, that's so good. Okay. Now let's back up really quick. Back up. Back up. Back up. Good boy. All right. Let's see if he'll do this stretch. Here, we'll finish that. Ready? I'm down through here. Come on, right here. It's down here. Father, father. <laughs> Good boy. It's a good boy. Oh, you're gonna stretch this way now? No, we gotta get you stretched the other way. Alright, ready? Come on. Good boy. So good with your stretchies. Good boy. I love doing his little stretches with him. He's so cute about it. Go underneath here. Oh, bend it. So when I first got him, he like was super freaked out about doing that. But I love to get him to be able to go farther <laughs> with his head between his front legs. Look at his little mouth. He always says these funny things. Now he keeps bugging me. He always bugs me. You're gonna bug me for more treats? I gotta go give your brothers more treats. No. He's so sweet. He's a sucker for treats. <laughs> Quit it. So sweet. Anyways, we gotta move on to the other horses. We need to give them more treats. Good stretchies today. Goodbye. Kashi. Good boy. Is that yummy? Is that yummy? Lulu. Lulu. You want a treat? I know you got hay, but I got a treat. Hmm, investigate that. Oh, so good. Please. My treat. Good boy. You got some hay on your nose there, bud. Here you go. That's a very good boy. So anyways, I'm back in my tack room really quick, you guys, because I saw a lot of comments in my last video about where the kittens are and where did the kittens go? So they're obviously not in here. So where did the kittens go? So I'm back in my room to actually discuss where the kittens are because as you guys saw, they're not in my tack room, but they are, they are in my house. Why are you in my house? So for all those asking where the kittens went, they went into my house. So this is where they're at, they're so cute. We've been moving them from areas around the house, watch this. To do things just like this, so as you guys can see, there's a kitty out there. And then the kitten just went and said hello. So we've been putting them through like the guest rooms, our bedroom, just places so that they can get used to the dogs when they are big enough and on their own. To go and be able to be barn kitties, they will already be accustomed to the dogs because you know all of our other barn cats we never technically raised since they were kittens. Um, the black cats that we first had, they were about like maybe like six or seven months old, but these kittens are like weeks old. So we have to basically show them everything that they need to know and to set them up to be super safe out there. But of course they're gonna be just like our other cats. They're gonna be indoor out kitties. They were born and raised outside for a couple weeks of their life with their mom. So as you guys know, she was a stray. She was a feral cat. She had four kittens and we brought them here. They were given to us as rescue kittens. They were rescued in our hospital. So then we went and took care of them. We had to get the mom from the Humane Society and then it just became kind of like this whole big thing that we had to put them through our county system. So then we technically didn't even own the kittens, but I will officially say we have officially adopted the kittens, all of the kittens. So they are ours. They live at the farm now, full time. So, and we have names, you guys. Oh, there's one. Oh, bye. What are you doing, baby? What are you doing? So this pretty girl, I have been looking at all your guys' name suggestions in the comments. And you guys put so many names, even for the little chicken that I was asking you guys to help me name. But 
these are all names that we're kind of calling them right now and going with for now, unless something cuter shows up. Oh, but for this precious little girl right here, we've been calling her Stella. She's our little gray kitty. And my camera's shaky because right below me, we have this little kitty. Hi, kitty. And so we saw some comments. We call her two names because in the comments I kept reading Tiger Lily and I thought it was just a really funny, cute name. So we call her Tiger Lily, kind of like it's just something silly. But we thought that she looked like a Sunny, so we call her Sunny. So we have Stella and then Sunny, but AKA Tiger Lily. Crazy little cat. Come here. Come here. Come here. Psst. Tiger Lily, come here. Psst. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute, guys. They're such a fun stage. They just run around and they go absolutely nuts. And they all got spayed. So they have tiny little incision on their belly. So they're all spayed so they can't have babies because that's kind of how the barn cat programs work. They have to be spayed or neutered so that they don't reproduce because the cat population is so huge around here. <gasps> What's up, kitty cat? Stella. Oh, Stella. They love to lick so much. Stella's a little chunky girl. Stella, let me see your belly. Let me see your belly. What are you doing? What are you doing? And where's my third little kitty? Oh, so sweet. Thank you for the licks. So, this third little kitty right here that's attacking me. So, we were calling her Toothless from the movie How to Train Your Dragon. And then we've kind of changed her name a little bit. So, we've been calling her Peanut because she's so tiny. She has a little head, tiny little petite body. So we've been calling her Peanut, AKA Toothless. <laughs> they are very, very um, happy to play with my like string from my camera. <laughs> Guys, it's making it very hard to vlog you when you want to take this from me. They just do really fun stuff. Like they go everywhere. Like this is my nightstand. <laughs> you gotta see what we're doing. And then there they are. Down there, together. Easy kitty eating time. Cute. Yay. They're all so beautiful. I absolutely love all their colors. And then you guys, if you remember, the fourth kitty that we had also looked just like this little chunky girl, but he was a male. He got neutered as well on the same day. And they actually decided to name him Doc. So you guys saw that I went to my friend's farm, so we will definitely be visiting him, and you guys will definitely see him on my channel again for sure. But they named him Doc because, like I said, they were rescued out of the hospital. So it kind of was fitting. They named him Doc, kind of like Doctor. So they're all so sweet. So it's been so fun to have them. I absolutely love them. They're doing really well. They're figuring out all the sounds of everybody and everything. But I know you guys were worried because you guys didn't see them in the tack room. But you didn't see them for good reason because we have finally officially signed all the papers and adopted them. So they are ours. They belong to the farm, like I said. They're a part of the farm fam. So you guys will, of course, be seeing them for the rest of their life on this channel. So I'm so excited to share their journey with you guys. You guys have literally been along the journey since they were just a couple weeks old. You know, just tiny little babies still nursing, and then you're going to be able to see them when they're years old doing all their little farm kitty things. So I'm super excited to share their journey with you guys. And yes, it's official. They live here. They're no longer in my tack room. Eventually, they'll go back out there. They're just going to kind of figure everything out around here because we want to teach them the ropes to everything so that they are super set up for success around the farm. So I'm sorry, you guys, if this was a shorter vlog, but we are getting closer to Christmas time, and I have really fun videos coming up for that. So make sure that if you guys are excited that we adopted the kittens or like today's video, you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, have a chance for my post notification. Shout out today. Shout out goes to... Are you guys? I love you and I'll see you in my next one.